St. Patrick, I hear you're going on holiday again. That's right, SpongeBob. I'm going to Denmark and Sweden too. Yeah, I heard you're going to Copenhagen in Denmark and Malmo in Sweden. That's right. And let me guess, I can't come because you only won one ticket. Whoa, how did you know that, SpongeBob? Lucky guess. Well, I better get going, my plane. Leaves in one hour, yeah, yeah, I get it, we've been through this like a hundred times before. I'm gonna miss you there, Patrick. I'm gonna miss you too, SpongeBob. Well, I better get going. Bye! That building is Copenhagen City Hall. What's that? Can it be? I'm loving it. McDonald's, Burger King and KFC all in one place. Oh my gosh, I want one, I want one, I want one, I want one. I've got to go right now, right now. Quickly, come on. These statues are used to tell you what the weather will be like. For example, that guy is holding an umbrella, which signifies that it will be raining soon. Wow. And here I am at Christianstad, the place where Hans Christian Andersen used to live. And that's the flag of Denmark. Here I am at the famous Tivoli. I can't wait to go on another ride inside. Unfortunately, you have to pay to go on each ride, and I don't have any money, so I had to borrow some from SpongeBob. Right with a bright idea. I feel so dizzy after going on a ride. Oh, not again! That clock kinda looks like a Big Ben in London. Seriously? Get me off these rides! That place sells chocolates. Yum! Nope, I am not going on the ride. I'm too scared.
Does that pirate ship belong to Patchy the Pirate? And now to plan where I'm going to visit today. Wow, look, it's Tivoli. I was there just yesterday night. Child adventure writer Hans Christian Sardens has been living most of his life in number 18, 20 and 18. Nel porto di Nyoan ha abitato anche Lipon Oskevise Operat. As you can probably tell, I'm now touring Copenhagen on a boat. On your right, just in front of us, it's Bacteri Sixtus, where every morning and every evening a cannon shot, a salute, is given to the Danish flag Danabro. The Danish flag is the oldest flag in the world. It goes back to the 1219, where the story says it fall down from the sky during a crusade in Tallinn, Estonia. So oh, the little mermaid has been sitting there since 1931. He's an old lady by now. He's a gift from uh, Karl Jakobsen, the owner of Kaze Brewery. Karl Jakobsen fell in love with one of the ballet dancers, the ballet dancer at the Royal Theater. And um, uh, she ordered to make this beautiful figure of the little mermaid. But she has been a little unfortunate, this lady, because somebody cut her off her head three times, the arm once, and she's been painted red. But every time she's been rescued, so all of you can come and take picture and uh, can welcome you. Wow, it's a statue of a little mermaid. Hey, I have a clarinet playing. Is that Squidward? No, it's too good to be him. It's the main shopping area of Copenhagen. And this is the Guinness World Record Museum. Hmm, I wonder if I can have a world record for eating the most junk food. Hotel Chocolate? Wow, that sounds like my kind of hotel. That's the round tower. I thought it was supposed to be called the round table. It's an observatory anyway. Here I am in King's Garden. As the name implies, it used to be a garden for the King of Denmark, but now it's a park for all the public to use.
This lion must be guarding the palace behind. <gasps> oh no! Help me! This lion is eating me! Thank goodness, this guard rescued me from a lion! Oh no! Now another lion is eating me! Help! Well at least this guy on his bike rescued me! And now we're at Copenhagen's Lego store! You see, Lego was invented in Denmark! Wow! I can build anything using these Lego bricks! As you can see, Copenhagen's main shopping area is really big! Wow! Max Hamburgers, the Swedish fast food restaurant chain! Yummy! I've got all this food all to myself! And now, I'm going to catch the train to Malmo in Sweden! If you look in the distance, you'll be able to see Sweden! Wow! I finally arrived in the Swedish city of Malmö, the third largest city in Sweden! Shawarma King? Wait a minute, that's not Burger King! Ah, now there's a real Burger King! I've got to go there! Here I am at the beautiful Falkritz Park. Malmo is a city that's full of parks. I wish I could speak Swedish so I could understand what that sign says. Office. It's built in a natural romantic style and of course in times before email and Facebook. Information and communication to couple of Turning Torso is the third highest apartment building in Europe. 190 meters high with 54 floors. 
The building is designed by Santiago Calatrava, the Spanish architect. It turns 90 degrees from the bottom to the top and the model is, of course, the twisted body of a human, like this. I'm sure that you can see the resemblance. Maybe not. Turning. Fram for us have we now. As you can see, I'm on another boat tour. I think that's a castle. I shall have to visit that later. The old court of the Pina building from the turn of the last century. This is the middle of downtown Malmö. This area is called Söder Tull, which means south of you, that's the southern toll gates. So you had to pay your taxes here when entering the historical city. Today, Malmö's main shopping street runs here. Neo modernistic style. Lita is the house of the this is St. Peter's Church, the oldest building in Malmo, even older than Squidward. Construction started in the early 1300s, and 13 is one of the only words I know. Remember the castle I said I wanted to visit? This is the Malmo Castle, or as Scribber tells me, it's called Malmo Hus in Swedish. After it was a castle, it was also used as a prison, and everyone knows in prison, you don't get ice creams. This guy sure is rowing fast. He's even faster than me. That's the Ribbersborg's Kalbadhus. It's a public bath, but I hate taking baths, so I'm not going to go there. Sorry. <sighs> what a relaxing day it is on the beach. In the background, there's the twisted torso. It doesn't look like a torso if you ask me. That's the bridge connecting Denmark and Sweden. And now we're in Lila Torg, a place where people come to eat, drink and hang out basically. And if you like nightlife, Lila Tog is definitely the best place to go, although I never stay awake past 8.30. I've been thinking about moving to Sweden, so I asked these guys behind me to carry my rock over to Malmo. <gasps> is that Subway over there? I'm so hungry now.
I'm actually at Mall of Anstugget. There's sometimes a market here, but I guess I missed it today. What's this? Some marching band statues? Cool! I should have brought some mayonnaise. That's an instrument. Hey! It's another Max restaurant! That must be the Malmo City Hall.